Dee here and I'm wearing a polka dot dress from American Apparel because I think it needs a few vintage touches. So I'm here today at the Family Jewels Vintage which carries pieces from 20 years ago all the way back to the early 1900s. What I'm going to do is take this piece and style it to create five vintage outfits using pieces from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s. This is an example of a jacket from the 40s. And what's interesting about this one is that the label is actually sewn in upside down. But this is no accident, guys. The reason is because when laid on a chair like so, anyone looking down can see who made it. The jacket's wider shoulders and overall boxy shape give it a more masculine cut, which was a style popular for women in the 1940s. So I added this corday bag and a black sun hat to give the feminine touches of a stylish, modern woman. This 50s pleated skirt is inspiring me to show you guys one of my favorite style moves, mixing polka dots. In this case, the polka dots work because they're a similar size, and then when worn together, it looks like it could be one piece. So to go with it, I added this great color block purse from the 60s, and then a 50s cashmere sweater with lace embroidery and crystal buttons. And then I took a neck scarf and tied it into a hair bow for another signature Sammy D move. Sequins is one of my favorite materials, and this 60s evening wear top that's all sequins, definitely a showstopper. So I added even more sequins with this black beret that matches this black patent leather bag. I put this top over my dress to transform it into a mini skirt, which was a revolutionary trend of the 60s because for the first time ever, it was acceptable to wear clothing that showed skin above the knee. This skirt is so 70s because of this bright, colorful floral print, and guys, what this really shows is how the hemline dropped from a 60s mini to a 70s maxi. So I added this tooled leather bag and a burnt orange vest that I've made into a waistcoat by leaving it unbuttoned. Now I'm 70s styled to the max. When it comes to 80s style, you can't beat a copper colored skirt like this one that's made of leather, which comes with a matching fringe jacket with those wide shoulders and a loose fit that just totally screams 80s. I like it, but I'm not sure it's for me, so I'm gonna lose it and just stick with fun accessories, like this gold belt that I've transformed into a necklace, a white shoulder bag, and of course, some bug eye sunglasses to top off this cool copper look. I hope you guys liked how I took a dress from American Apparel and used it to style five vintage outfits. So click the link below to vote for your favorite look and tell me which era is your fave by leaving me a comment. And don't forget to like and favorite this video to spread that vintage love.